Okay, welcome back. My name is Adam with UploadWordPress.com, and this is the fifth video in a series of videos on how to build a classified ad style site using the Classy Press theme. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create an account. We're gonna, from the perspective of a site user, we're going to create an account and then post a few ads so that you get an idea of how it works from the user's perspective. And uh, plus, you want to go ahead and create some some dummy ads, I guess you could call them, or just uh, example ads. So that when you do, uh, you are ready to launch this site and start marketing it, driving traffic to it. People have an idea, uh, like a benchmark to follow, as far as other ad ads have already been created, so they know what to do. So that's why I like to, you know, make like five to ten dummy ads, I call them, or example ads. Um, so we'll do that now, and uh, and we'll go from there. So I'm logged in right now to the. Uh, I'm on the. Uh, admins account the you know the, the controller of the website um, I'm using Firefox so what I like to do is go to a uh, new browser so I'd go ahead and use something like Chrome and then I would create an account and this is to keep so that I had this is a, like a, a separate account than the actual uh, site administrator account you can post ads with the site administrator account which is great and you should do that a few of those but also create a couple new accounts and then uh, post some some dummy ads or example ads because that'll you know, help to get the site started and give people an idea on uh, how to how to do it, a benchmark to go to go off of, I guess. So the first thing you do is you go ahead and uh, now that I'm in a new browser, I would create an account. I just I fill in a username, give my email address, and then it'll send me. It'll automatically generate a password. It'll send me that uh, automatically in an email. So I already actually registered for my account, and if I go to my email account, you can see right here that it sent me a. An email with my password. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and log in to my account. And let's see here. I don't think I spelled that right. Some of those are really difficult to read. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't type it in right. Uh, actually, I was on the wrong. <laughs> you have to go to login now. That's why it didn't work. All right, so go ahead and log in with your login credentials that they sent you. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm logged in, and it automatically takes you to your dashboard, which is where you get an overview. Here's where it would show the ads that I have live. Uh, I currently don't have any, so it's not showing anything, but when I do, you'll see them here. You can edit uh, existing ads, you can pause them, you can delete them. So the user can really control all of their ads very easily through this uh, dashboard section. You can edit your profile, you can add a profile picture, your website, a, a ton of information within the edit profile option there. Um, I'm going to skip that just to keep this video short, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, post my first costume classifieds ad. Um, so I just come in here and I would select a category and then click go. Now keep in mind you need to, these are just example ads so you, you're going to have to find somewhere to pull this con content from and then just say that this, this is just an example. Uh, you probably should state like this isn't a, lot, a real ad, it's just an example to give you an idea of how you should create your ads. And uh, you know, so I recommend saying that but you do have to create some of these dummy ads or example ads in order to get the site started so people have an idea of how to use it so you want to make sure in these ad these initial you know first ads that you do create that you create them in a way that you'd want other site users to create their ads so, uh, you know set a good tone I guess is the way to say it um, so you go through here and you'd fill out this information um, you know you'd say like whatever the product is you're trying to sell um, Couples costume, couples Flintstone costume, new, and then you'd set a price, I don't know, $50. And then you'd fill out the rest of the information here, and then you'd go ahead and give it a long description of, of what the product is that you're trying to sell. And uh, you should state how you're going to ship it to them, and you should say how you're going to get paid. Usually, it's just through PayPal. Um, but again, so this is just a you know classified ad style. It's no different than if you're if you put an ad in the newspaper trying to sell, 
something. This is exactly what we're doing here, except it's all you know through this website. So, and then you can add up to three pictures, and uh, you go ahead and just click continue, and it'll automatically submit this ad. It'll be screened by me, by or by the site administrator before going live, and then once it's approved, it'll be live on the site. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video. And, and again, this form, I'm uh, right here, I should point this out, I think in this first or second video we talked about creating custom forms. Well, this is where you can create a completely custom form. This is the default one I'm using right now that just, you know, is, comes out of the box with the site. Um, I recommend custom, you know, creating custom forms so that it really fits your niche. You know, for example, this is a co uh, costumes classified ad site. So I'd probably have something in there about... <clears throat> Uh, like costume type, I might have a field, um, size maybe, um, you know, probably I would probably, I'd use a lot of these fields that are in here, but I would add some other custom fields and customize this form a little bit. I'm not going to do that just to keep this video short, but know that you can customize this, this field and add as many, have it lay out however you want. So I'd go ahead and do that. But what I'll do now is I'll pause this, I'll fill this out with a dummy product, create a dummy ad here and then I'll show you how it works from there. I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and filled out this form just to save some time. For the title, you know, just gave it a descriptive title, Green Lantern Costumes, perf uh, the perfect co uh, couples costume, new. For price, I put in $75, uh, OBL, which means or best offer. I went ahead and filled out my city information and then I gave it uh, tags which are the same thing as keywords, green lantern costume. And then in the description field I went ahead and filled out a detailed description um, including how I'm going to ship the item and how I'd like to receive payment for it. Um, and then just go ahead and um, add the images. So let's see here. Let's go to pictures and um, costume classifieds. There's the Green Lantern costumes. All right, so I go ahead and just click continue. They can choose. They have the option here if they want to do a feature listing or just click continue. <clears throat> and it's cost zero dollars because remember that's what we set up. I wanted the 30 day or the 20 day listings to be free. So there's a review of what my ad's going to look like, and then here's the terms and conditions, and then you just click proceed. And it says, thank you, your, your listing um, has been submitted for review. All right, so now the administrator, so now I would get an email uh, as the admin of the site that says, hey, there's a new ad waiting for you to review it. So let's go back to um, this is my admin account now, so this is I'm actually the administrator of the site now. So let's go ahead and log into the WordPress admin, and under ads, click on ads, and we should see that new ad pending, and there it is. You can see right here that it's pending, and so if I just click edit and open it in a new tab, I can review this ad that uh, this user Teddy Triton has submitted it's uh, let this load it's a little bit slow right now so there you go you can see the ad uh, you can review it if it looks good you want to allow it on the site you just click publish and it will be live out on the site if you want it to be a featured ad here's where you can do that you just click on featured ad click publish and then if we go out to the site and refresh the page we should see it, uh, and it'll automatically show up in this feature listing slider section here. <clears throat> or it should. I think you have to have two listings live before it, the feature listing starts working. So when I create another one, you'll see it up here. But there it is right there. That image didn't show up that well, but if you hover over it, you can see it. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty easy to... Uh, Create listings. You can see how user friendly this actually is. If I take a look at it, you can see all the information here. It even pulls in Google Maps to show you where this is located. 
you know, if you wanted to contact this guy or this Teddy Triton that posted this ad, you enter your name, your email, and you send him a message, and then you uh, work out a deal together to uh, to purchase this costume if you're interested in buying it. So it's really that easy. And then if you could take a look at the the information on the guy that created the the ad, which is Teddy Triton, we just created another one. So um, so that's really how it works. It's pretty simple. Um, what you'd want to do is you'd want to go through here and create like five to ten more dummy ads or example ads. And then uh, once that's done, really the last steps is just to review the site, you know, write your first blog post, make sure you have all your content on your About Us page, your rules, um, test the site out uh, a few more times, make sure it's working properly. You might want to create a uh, you might want to even create um, like a how-to video, how how it works and what it's all about that you could put on the right sidebar, so you know people have a real easy or have a have an idea of how it works when they get on the site. It's super straightforward, so that's always a good idea. But um, so, anyways, that's how you do it. Um, I would continue to go through here and create a few more dummy ads and just build the site up. But it's pretty much uh, ready to go after this, and then you can you know launch it open it up to the search engines and uh, you know start driving traffic to it so um, again this is the classy press theme and uh, hopefully you found this video um, helpful I'm gonna go ahead and finish the website without shooting any more videos and then I'll do an overview of the site when it's done so you can see kinda how it looks when it's finished so thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one